victory is ours. Whoa, with our brimstone. Now, the journey continues with a silver adventure box. Oh, man, I'll tell you what the greatest thing in the world is. On a hot day, all right, I'm not going to say summer because it's not really summer. It's April. But on a hot day, having a can. Here we go. The paid promotion of Lilt Zero, baby. Oh, Okay, that's not actually a paid promotion, but my god, that felt pretty good. Hello, everyone. I just finished zone one. I'm continuing along. I love some, me some tribulation mode. We're going to be checking out zone two now, and we're going to be uh, going through a much longer zone, first of all, and seeing what uh, amazing stuff the devs have added. We did just get this mysterious reward in our inventory, which is completely bogged down with random stuff I need to clear through, but we can't actually double click a lot of this stuff because we're in uh, the super adventure box so give me a second to clear this out and we'll be along there we go that should be enough slots for all the items i anticipate that we'll be getting so yeah quite a long zone and we do know of course there's the shortcut worm and now if you were the devs what would you do at shortcut worm well that's part of the excitement i guess we'll see what they go for let's uh move on now at the start here i'm pretty sure there's lots of false floors filled with lava so you don't really want to actually go on the ground what you want to do is bounce on these mushrooms as best as possible. That's a false rock that you kind of want to ignore. And uh, just stay like on the high ground. Here we're going to grab immediately a bonus uh, balloon. Easily missed, by the way. I often forget to grab that one. Don't ask. I don't know why. And instead of going directly to the exit there, where there'll be all kinds of hazards that screw us up, we're going to scrape this wall. Moving over to this branch. And all the way up this tree. Where you find the cloud. Now your tip off here, you might think, wow, WP, you just did a ton of stuff. How would you know to do that? Obviously, you're going to walk through and die a few times. But the real tip off is that there's this cloud. And you'd be surprised. Even totally new players to tribulation mode will, I think, come up this tree super quick. Just because you're already at that point where you know, all right, you're playing the devs game at this point. So now we can get into the haunted forest, but there's lava everywhere. Doesn't that look just hideous? Well, I guess we can just walk on the roots. So let's aim for this one down here, I guess. Uh-oh. It's a cloud. And on a delay, of course, he's going to uh, zap us. So well, that's one cloud. Oh, dear. You see the problem. Any one of these jumps, we might hit another cloud, and it could just be a disaster. Let's go over here. And around the back. Well, this seems to work. The snake can wade in lava. Oh, and there's a tribulation cloud. I guess you guys have been hearing the music. Uh, sneaky uh, little fact here. My game audio is really, really, really low. I guess if we get another cloud, can we move around here? And don't let the tribulation cloud hit us too much? Well, we're slowly making it. Slowly scraping the edges. This is actually working, it seems. There's the checkpoint. Oh, God. Is it going to be a false floor? Is it going to be spikes? Oh, it was spikes at the end. I was Guys, I actually made that. That was all legit. I don't think I've ever gone that way. I was expecting to hit a hazard. The way I usually do it is this. Across the tops of the cloud. Yeah, seriously. That's totally possible. Um, and you do end up... Oh, man, I missed... That's the one tricky jump, that one right there. Uh, you do end up exactly where I was stood. I guess I was just too low to the ground. I should have stayed higher on the roots. That's amazing to me. This is what's fun about tribulation to me. Every, well, not every time, but a lot of the time if I play it and I go off of the beaten path, god damn it, uh, I'll end up finding things that I just didn't know. Like, there's so many possibilities for how to go through what you actually think is like a single strict line on how to beat the level. It's a funny thing with trip in that it kind of. It feels like it takes away the free roaming aspects of Sab in your freedom, right? Because, well, there's spikes everywhere, so you just have to do X, Y, and Z. And maybe that's a legitimate argument, but the funny thing is, the more forgiving normal mode gives you all the freedom, but most people just very quick... There we go, we made it. Very quickly end up... Don't hit those spikes again this time. End up optimizing um, to go, like, a single route anyway. So the difference is sort of not really, you know, that appropriate in the end. So, here, yeah, we got these spikes. Now, I want to point something out with this checkpoint. Something amazing. I used to do a thing. I don't know whether it's still possible. But from bouncing up on that checkpoint, I think if you jump dodge over here... Oh, man, I think I missed it. I think you may have to land on this. But you can actually skip past all these spikes, which you're totally not meant to. And you can, like, complete this whole section really fast. The way the devs want you to go is this way. And I just want to be clear, I hate this checkpoint. I actually think it's really nasty. In fact, World 1 does this a couple of times. That's a fake rock, right? So I'm trying to trigger him to, to explode. Let's just go really quick, I guess. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't. See, this is what I don't like. They're random. 
the, the timing is not 100% precise, so you can never know exactly. That guy didn't move there, but he jumps up and down and knocks you in the lava all the time. There'll be another one we have to do in a second. But yeah, World 1 does this a couple of times. It gives a sequence like what we're currently doing, which is like really, really muscle memory, uh, you know, really tight timing, really fast, really refined, extremely precise movement. And actually, I don't think that's what's most fun about Tribulation Mode a lot of the time. And doing a lot of them in World 1, I think, puts a lot of people off because uh, it gives you the impression you need, like, some kind of crazy Twitch skill, which isn't actually really true. Later on, that stuff sort of goes away in Trib to a large degree. Let's use our new boomerang and take that guy out. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure I really like that about World 1. Uh, there was a little section with lots of uh, angry rocks in the previous zone, and there's this section here on this one. So, again, we got the three rocks ahead of us, right? There's a balloon in a minute. Have I already missed the balloon? No, I don't think I've missed the balloon. But look, this guy in the middle, he's angry as well. So... Uh, they, I, like, I, I don't even really know how to do this except just pure RNG. We just have to jump on him and then try and jump to the next one without him getting angry. That's all we can do. Uh, without him knocking us. There, we made it. But this might just be because I always have slightly more latency than most players. So it means certain sequences are just brutal to me that they might not have otherwise been for other players. And I know that the devs never pay particular, or often didn't pay particular regard to that side of the game because this was all implemented before Heart of Thorns. And Heart of Thorns had the gliding mechanic, which was really rubbish, and, and bouncing mushrooms, which was really rubbish for like OCX players and stuff. The devs just didn't realize because all their testing and, and stuff happened largely in studio and they didn't know. So yeah, there are uh, these weird sections like this with the Angry Rocks that I think are more unforgiving to some players than others. Anyway, um, that keg is going to hurt us if we go too close to it. Why do I feel like I'm missing a balloon? I feel like I missed the balloon. I have missed the balloon. Oh, no. Okay, so this finger here as well. He's going to try and kill us. Oh, my God. Are you serious, monkey? Are you actually having a laugh right now? I really don't want to have to fight you. This is so weird, guys. Doing this really slowly. Oh, I like just charging through. Then the monkeys don't matter. Okay. So, hold on. He will get obstructed. So, if I walk under the leaf... Yeah, okay. We walk under the leaf, he's gonna die. Damn it. There's a balloon, like, literally so easy to get near that lava. So, we're gonna have to do two checkpoints at once. You guys ready? It shouldn't be that bad. So, um, let's jump down here. We kill this monkey. Now, obviously, we can't go anywhere over there. There's the pool. Yeah, if you touch the water, you die. You do not want to touch the water. So now the lily pads falling away is actually relevant. Okay? So do two quick jumps. And now you want to be very careful. There are spikes in all sorts of places here. First of all, I think there's spikes here. So you want to be careful. Second, if you make a beeline for the checkpoint, there's spikes. So you want to come back to the slope along this and just hug the wall, okay? On the right. Hug the wall. We're like passing a ton of spikes right now. And this is the way you're meant to do it. Hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. And then you get the checkpoint. Nice. I'll show you the spikes. There you go. Look at that. Look at, look at how narrow that is. And that is intended. Again, this is why it's so nice now that the spikes persist, right? Because it, it, it helps players a lot more. It sort of shows, hey, this is intended. You are allowed to come up here. Like, before the spikes were persistent, you might just think this was a cheesy thing you were doing. But it is the way to get through here. There's no, like, upper route at this point. Or maybe there is. Maybe there's an upper route. If there is an upper route, I don't know it. You guys can pause the video. Tell me in the comments. Yeah, more trolley spikes right here at the start. <laughs> but they're funny when they're like this because, you know, it doesn't matter. You're right at the checkpoint. This water won't kill you just for what it's worth. So we can wander through up here. Oh, my God. It is actually up there. It's just there's spikes there. And you see, the, the update they did as well that means that the spikes persist, sometimes they can sort of um, have their cake and eat it too. Here, these spikes may as well be the old version of spikes that don't persist just because they're embedded in the water and you do find that in several places it's not really that relevant because these are so close to the checkpoint you're gonna remember that they're there regardless let's get the timing a bit better there we go um but sometimes they might have spikes like that towards the end of a checkpoint so yeah we do actually have to come through here you can often tell with this stuff just because 
there are balloons available nearby. I'm really happy we got through that uh, horrible angry rock lava section a second ago. I usually struggle there for so long. It, it's a bit surreal to be here already. Oh, God. This episode is going to be so much shorter than the other ones. I'll tell you what. Oh, the first episode. We just had so much to get through there. Maybe I could have paced it a bit better. Here, by the way, that hand. He's an angry hand. They never want to help you anymore. Never. It's such a shame, guys. I like the idea that it's the happy pointing hand fingers that are like um, always angry. But sometimes if you find like a grumpy hand, then that one's in tribulation mode. And it's like Bizarro World and those ones genuinely are pointing the right way. <laughs> but I don't think the devs ever really do that. That would be funny to me though. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to keep climbing. If we try to go, even in normal mode on this one, if you guys remember, you had to come high up. This was a cliff over here that is just sort of a dead end. The checkpoint is at the top and you could hit that mushroom that created the bouncy route up. I'll tell you what, I've actually never been on the low road down there, but I think there is a way to skip your way through with a jump dodge. Let's show it off. I think it's right here. If you make this jump dodge, no, no, no. Well, once you've knocked the mushroom down, I guess that, that that's a thing. Otherwise, I suppose you can go shopping. I'll demonstrate it at least once. There are optional places you can still go. You can still break these. You can still get extra baubles. I'll tell you what would be nice, actually. Potions. I'm going to buy these legitimately. Max up on as many potions as possible. You probably want to do this after your normal mode adventure so you have the upgrades. Obviously, the later zones are locked out, but it didn't reset our upgrades when we came back to the beginning. Hey, isn't that an idea? I've actually never really thought about that. What if Tribulation didn't just reset your level progress, but it also took your flute away, and it also took all that other stuff away? So you had to do it all, genuinely. That would mean the Tribulation series that I'm doing here ended up way, 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 way longer than the, you know, original normal mode stuff, because you'd have all that stuff to get through. But yeah, so look, I've now got nine potions. Um, we'll break the rest of his stuff. I like how his dialogue is the same as well. At last time a customer, I'm eager for your business. Oh, I'm sure you are. Um, uh, yeah, well, these potions will be good later because don't forget they do actually sunbreak us and some particularly grueling sections where you can get grinded down with your health. Uh, I'll show off. That'll be more World 2 stuff because uh, World 1 is generally pretty easy, but that's nice. Another fun thing to think about, by the way, is in Trib, these, these shops are still just a part of the map. Like, the world is, like, I guess below us right now, maybe above us. But the point is that sometimes they might have you go into a shop to break through a wall to come out the back of it or something that you wouldn't normally do because now there's a false floor. I don't really remember the devs ever doing that, but if they ever had a World 3 or something, it could be a fun idea. All right, okay, so now I'm, like, completely off course. And uh, it wasn't really my intention to do so. In fact, I'm majorly off course. This was pretty stupid, honestly. Uh, I think, we'll, yeah, oh, my God. All this jumping I did? Wait, we got a checkpoint, didn't we? Didn't we use a balloon already? We did. I can just kill myself, right? Okay, I can. Good. Right, all right. We're in the sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was where I jumped down, so it's not too bad. So, yeah, that guy's a fake rock. Oh, I got hit by him? The animation didn't even play. If you come this way, you can avoid... You can avoid him. I guess the other positive thing about this... Uh, I spoke too soon. Damn it. <laughs> I could climb all the way back up, but sorry, Brax. You're going to have to take one for, a for the team there, buddy. Um... Yeah, what we could what we could do here is if we get hit by this rock, it's not so dangerous. Like you won't fall into the lava and get yourself killed, is what I was gonna say. Uh, the other way that I used to do this is around here, which is why I came around here before. You can do it like this, and you end up on the leaf. I I prefer that. I still prefer that. This year, literally, I've been trying this one, but I don't think it's as good. Okay, so we're gonna come this way. Here. Why am I jumping like this? You might wonder. Why? Why is WP like? being so precarious. Why is he making tribulation mode harder for himself? He's not. It's because if you ever try and go the most blatant, blunt route, there's gonna be spikes there, okay? That's the thing. That's what would be... Oh my god, I gotta do this again now. Let's try this again. I have so much muscle memory for this now. I mean, oh god. It's not as safe. The other thing, obviously, whenever there's an angry rock, whenever... The best thing to do is to try and squeeze a dodge roll in there somewhere. You'll notice this one's pretty cunningly designed such that if you dodge, you're going to fall. There, we're down here again. So uh, that one's pretty clever, and you want to try and avoid the impacts altogether. But yeah, so that's why I was clinging to the edges of those leaves. And if you ever find yourself ever again asking that question, your answer is probably is avoidance of spikes. It's just he's not talking about it out loud. Okay, oh, I've got to get up again now. Damn it. 
There we go. There, there. How easy is that? That's what I've been doing a hundred times. All right, fine. I was going to do the slash cry emote for a second there. Also, these are deceptive. Um, I know the spikes don't look like they come out that far, but the hitbox does actually extend beyond that, right? Basically, go to the edge. Seriously. I don't know. It's weird. Now that I can see the spikes, because I learned a lot of this before you could see them. I felt like everything was a lot bigger and a lot more dangerous. But in, in truth, there's a little bit more leeway here than you realize. It's nice. It makes it a bit more comfortable and, <laughs> and less stress-inducing to play. So, yeah, this is pretty basic. They don't really add any uh, hazards. Up here, though... Uh, isn't there a balloon up here? Yeah, there is. There's a balloon. I usually skip this. There's really not much reason to come all the way over here. And again, you kind of kind of feel your spine going up a bit. You kind of feel, oh, there are going to be some spikes around. I don't think I've ever really hit any on those leaves. But if you do go out of the way, I think there's some spikes here, by the way. Whenever there's like a cross section on branches, you want to jump around carefully. Uh, but it, yeah, if you do go for that, you can get this uh, this cloud. It's not a very important one, and I'll show you why. Because this next section is all pretty basic. They could have put uh, spikes all on the inside of this trunk, you know, lining the walls, making sure you stay on the inside of all those leaves, but they didn't. They could have put spikes all around these. They didn't. They could have put it up here. They didn't. We're going to make this little jump here. There are spikes on the, the middle of the big broad leaves, so if you stay on basically the wood for this section, you'll generally be okay. Like, watch how I'm just staying on the wood. There's spikes on this, but we're staying on the woods. There's no spikes on this. There's wood in the middle. No spikes, no spikes. Now, there are spikes in the middle of this. This is your one hazard, really. This here, there's spikes in the middle. So be careful of that. But onto this, and there's spikes against this wall as well. <laughs> okay, maybe there are a lot of spikes. And this guy tries to kill you too. Uh, and he's always annoying as hell to dodge. I actually like to dodge backwards on him. Like that. Uh, I just let go of the keyboard and press my dodge button. And then we're across, right? So that cloud in the middle, you don't actually really need... But it can, it's sort of a bit of a de-stressor for you. This is an angry rock, but he doesn't really throw you into anything deadly. He's just there to make you grumpy as you take the, you know, the, the fall down knockdown. Uh, so yeah, get the poison. We could have gone to the optional shop. There's no point though. Uh, the poison, just like the water before, will kill us. I forgot about those spikes. I actually totally forgot about those ones. Okay, so yeah, we got the spikes. Uh, and look, that's clever, right? Because what the devs know is that you're going to be preoccupied thinking about the poison, as I was preoccupied talking about the poison. And so then we get this. Get your slinger out. Oh, I was trying to do way too much there at once. Basically, if you equip your slinger before doing the whole jumping sequence, as I will now demonstrate, uh, what you can do is shoot that barrel either while jumping across the lily pads, pads or from this shore. Come on. Why isn't it breaking? Maybe my jump timing is wrong. Come on, man. Oh, it's not working. I swear you could hit that. I guess I always did it from the lily pads. This is how out of practice I am with this zone. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Maybe they can't be broken by those. Maybe it was something else I used to do to do that. I can't remember. Anyway, there's a barrel. This is like what I was talking about before. It's frustrating to die to a barrel or a hand like that. But at least you know the hazard is gone after that. So you can come on over. This is the funny one because in a weird way, you're going there to get a checkpoint to make things easier for yourself. But getting yourself killed to get the checkpoint. To, so it's kind of like a counterbalance. It reminds me of old games where you'd find like a really precarious like hidden trap room. That gives you like a one-up in it. And it's like, okay, I can brave the trap room for the one-up. But if I die on my way to it, I've completely negated the point of ever going there in the first place. Because it's just going to get me back to square one if I manage to collect it now. And now I'm basically forced to do the trap room to get the one-up just to be back to square one. So, is it ever worth the risk in the first place? The answer, probably not. Here, we've got these massive holes again. There were hidden rooms and things, but you could get to them in normal mode. Pretty simple uh, checkpoint there. Nothing even sprung to my mind as I did that. This false rock, though, does threaten you right at the end. Could throw you into those traps. Uh, traps, spikes. So be cautious. Multiple routes again here. You could go through the middle using the lily pads. This hand tries to kill you, so we're going to dodge him. Instead, I'm going to come along here. There's a false rock ahead. I honestly thought that guy was a false rock. Is he a false rock? Hello? I guess not. We're close enough that we trigger that. But this guy is definitely a false rock. So, uh, an angry rock. Angry rock. 
<laughs> this is going to be like the new chest police, isn't it? Oh, dear. So, basically, what I'm going to do is just leap across him as quickly as possible. And then get to the far side of this. Oh my god. Look, people are going to think I'm lying. This is an angry rock. I promise. He's angry with me. He's furious. He doesn't know what to do himself. He's beside himself with rage. And then we can come here. I think I might have been wrong, by the way. Maybe you can't go the other way. Maybe there's spikes here. Yeah, there are. I was wrong. You can't go the other way. Why do I feel like you could? Uh, let's jump. Oh, come on. There you go. Look, he's angry. Um, but yeah, you can't actually go forward. You're going to be going this way. I guess, again, it's just that simple fact of the, the direct route. Isn't as much as there is a direct route at this bit. Is not the correct way. All right. He's done. We can move on by. And we're at the cage. Look, in pretty short time here as well, actually. So even though the zones do generally, I mean, they really do get a little bit harder as time goes by. Once you've learned the principles of uh, tribulation mode, or at least expressed them, it's not so shabby. So here, I'm going to use my elite. Oh, no, I almost got it. If we'd uh, done that after one more animation, we would have staggered. What? We staggered him there and he managed to hit us anyway. We would have staggered him. You'll notice I'm standing very precisely at this one spot and breaking the cage right now. You might wonder why. Why am I chancing these dodges that I'm clearly not very good at? The reason is that they've put spikes on the ring around the outside of this cage that will catch you out. So I, I don't even know exactly where they are. This is just the way I do this. I always stay at this one little bit. And I'm careful not to do anything else. Also, you only get a few seconds once you ding the rewards. Uh, and if you hit one of the spikes now while collecting them, like that, okay, here, yeah, oh god, I can actually demonstrate it to you. You, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. You can miss out on your rewards here. Uh, so the devs do add these infantile clouds to allow you to get up. But even with them, look, I've only got five seconds to get back to the chest now. Three, two, I press F, I get my continue coin, my bubble bubbles, and I move on. But only just do I make it. So there you go, that's zone two. Now, uh, there is a big feature of zone two, which I haven't shown off. And that's the shortcut worm. Well, you might think, oh, come on, there's just going to be spikes at shortcut worm. That's it, surely. Well, here, check this out. Okay, so here we are. Now, Shortcut Worm is obviously a tribulation-esque quality in normal mode, in that it's quite well hidden. But remember, when Tribulation Mode came out, it was with the Back to School update, which was after the festival had already appeared. And with the way that MMOs work, knowledge propagates, as the Asura would say, and so most people already knew about it. Was it really that skillful then, getting to the worm after other people had already told you or were actively showing you in the social MMO or were watching videos like mine? Disgraceful. So uh, what would the devs do with it? Well, you might expect, no, come on, them to put a false rock in front of, an angry rock in front of you. God damn it, hold on. You might expect that the entire thing is just a farce, right? Totally impossible and something you can't actually beat. Well, that's not actually true. You can do shortcut work. You'll notice, you'll notice that there's a false rock with some spikes there. <laughs> right as that happened, the dog that I'm sitting at the moment got up and started like aggressively trying to play with me. <laughs> okay, so yes, you will notice that there's some spikes, but damn it! We can get past them. I'm totally out of practice with this because I never do this, by the way. As you can probably tell, things crumble the second that I'm not doing what I'm very used to. Let's try and come along this, shall we? There we go. Jump over the spikes. And we can go into Shortcut Worm. The thing with Shortcut Worm this time is, though, that he's extremely hazardous. Remember all of these blobs? Well, they're now one-shotting you. And also, these spikes are really dangerous. You'll notice that there's a bit of an optical... Oh, my God. A bit of an optical illusion going on here where it feels like the spikes are moving through the worm. Ah, they're actually not. Let's try this a couple more times. Hold on. Really? What the fuck is going on? Gotta get so scared some of these other ones are angry rocks. They could have populated that whole area with them. All right, so let's try this again. Now, the only way you're going to get past these spikes, okay, is with a perfectly positioned, perfectly timed bounce that also you might want to turn into a jump dodge. It just feels so horrible, doesn't it? Okay, ready? So let's try that. Ah! Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. Right, now you've got these, which we've got to somehow get over. I don't think we can pop them with an attack or anything. Shall we try? 
And don't they respawn? Oh, this is so hideous. This is so hideous. I'm not promising you guys I will make it through the tribulation shortcut worm here. Okay. Oh, and then we got the poison. Okay. Ignore the optical illusion. Okay. And left and left because of him. Okay. Now we want to go up over here. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. We're doing it, guys. We're actually doing it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, the problem right now is every time I hit the ceiling, I think it's sliding me. Is it sliding me or is it just the illusion? What's happening? Is it just my camera? Is Bract actually moving left and right? <gasps> he is moving left and right. I didn't touch the keyboard there. Oh, but that did pop. It did pop, it seems. And it does seem to have gone away. Shall we see if it respawns? This is all uncharted territory for me. Also, by the way, I'm now realizing that there's not spikes here and you can just walk. This is exactly the kind of double bluff I was talking about before. The idea of that... Oh, oh my God. I, made, I messed up the normal jump. Uh, the idea of uh, the rock is just to knock you into the water, as he just managed to do. And where did this snake come from? All right, next attempt. So let's see. I didn't even jump dodge this last time. Just get as close as we can. All right, that should be good. That was good enough last time. Okay, all right, we made it. Okay, and now we needed to get over this, didn't we? That's pretty good, right? Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. Now we got the, the liquids. And we want to go slightly diagonally. Oh, he's respawned. Has he respawned or did we get past this already? He didn't respawn, right? It's on the other side. So hold on. Let's go this way. Oh, no, no, no. We can go through. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, God. It's getting a bit precarious now. We're, we're hitting our head pretty bad right now. It's a low ceiling. Oh, my God. How? How with the low ceiling? Uh, we made it. We made it. Oh, my God. And now this super long. This is actually amazing. This is a, this is brilliant. Okay. What is this? Oh, what? Oh, oh, it doesn't even hurt. Oh, my God. Wait, the spike's up there now, though. How do I keep low? How do I stay low? Oh, my God. I think I have to, like... I have to, like, land. Oh, I see what they're doing here. This is horrible. Okay, ready? I think what we have to do is this. Oh, I hit it. Oh, and that's the end of the worm there anyway. Well, look, guys, I'm not going to show the very exit of Shortcut Worm. It's something for you to try. Why do I feel the pull and the urge to go back and try? Look, I'm just going to end up struggling with it for far too long. But that's Shortcut Worm, and you actually can get out the other side. There is a ring of spikes there. You can complete the level via that method. It's so difficult that people have generally rec uh, recognized it's better to just play the normal way. Um, but it is available. And I really like that the devs did it this way because it's kind of an acknowledgement that even within tribulation mode, there are options for you. There are secret other routes. And I really was going to try it there. But the fact there's that extra spike trap, I think, seals the deal. So there you go, guys. Anyway, that's zone two. We get another one of these mysterious green items. Join me next time for the kingdom of fungus and the end of the whole first world. See you guys there. <laughs> we never got the shortcut worm. Don't look at me. I'm embarrassed. <laughs>